Hey everyone, I am Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we're talking about AMD's new R9 Fury X shown here. And the reason we're talking about this today is not our full review, which is forthcoming, but actually a look at the drivers. And there was a forum thread that sparked after some of the initial reviews launched of the Fury X. And that thread, I believe on Reddit, was sort of suggesting that maybe the press drivers were poorer performing than the official release drivers. And this is actually something that has happened in the past for both companies, AMD and NVIDIA. So it's it's worth investigating. And before we could test it, AMD unofficially responded to an overclocker's thread about this question, stating that no, the B8 and B9 press drivers, which were released on the FTP that we have access to, should perform effectively identically to the 1515 1004 drivers that are available to the public. And even with their word on the forums, we wanted to validate this internally ourselves because it's very important that we understand fully if this is actually an issue or not. Because if it is an issue and we review this card and we use the press drivers or we use the release drivers, there will be a disparity between other reviews and it might not be a real world scenario. So I tested all three driver sets before embarking further on our official review. And as you can see in these results, there is effectively zero difference. There is a slight difference, but it's within margin of error every single time. It's normally one FPS, one direction or the other. And this was after averaging multiple test passes for each driver set. So as indicated by these games, there is zero difference between the Fury X release drivers, which are the ones that we would have access to now, now that the card is out, and the AMD press drivers, which were available before the launch of the card. I wanna also note that this is a retail version of the card, to my knowledge, it is the only retail version of the card that is being worked on by an official outlet, being reviewed by an outlet. And this is significant because there can sometimes be differences in iterations between pre-production or press cards and full production shipping retail units. And that's what this is here. So we have two of these. As you can see, they were provided by one of our readers very graciously on loan. I've got review of that coming up, Crossfire, all of that. But as it stands now, the driver issue, it's non-existent. And we will look more importantly at the difference between the Fury X, the 980 Ti, the 980 Ti Hybrid, which I liked quite a bit, but is $100 more than this, and other nearby cards to determine what's best for each different gaming scenario and cost scenario. So that is all for this video. Check the link in the description below for the full article on this topic. And be sure to subscribe for the review once it's up, which it will be very shortly at this point. And then, of course, our Patreon campaign is worth checking out. If you don't know what that is, hit the link over the Patreon icon once the post-roll video rolls. And I will see you all next time.